Pack peelers. Cracking packs and counting stacks. We got some fresh off the press 2020 Panini Legacy football cards. Shout out to old Big Nate. He loves opening the football shit. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel, like the video, share that bad boy out to your favorite social media. Jay's going to be doing some opening with me on this. Guaranteed at least two autograph cards in this box. 16 packs per box, 8 cards per pack. Looking for that case hit, dare to tear. Looking for that Brett Favre card. Yeah, I said Favre. Brett Favre, dumbass. Spell the name, bro. I'm telling you, he's been lying to people his I've whole got a life. Fucking sixth grade education. You think I can spell that shit? <laughs> he is featured. There are a couple of fat boys in here, but I did see filler cards in here, so there's no real way to determine. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and eight. And we're going to get to cracking, do a little bit of a review on these. Which one you want, man? See, you got the fucking... I don't care either man. way. That's cool, man. Go ahead. I'm a ho. <laughs> Look, F-A-V-R-E. Sound it out. Favre. Uh so we're going to get to ripping these, kind of see what kind of uh, inserts we got, do a little bit of a review on these. I saw some people opening them uh, yesterday, and basically rookie autographs is all I saw pulled. So Joe Mixon, Michael Thomas, kind of cool with the, there's a Jimmy Garoppolo standard non-numbered. There's the, there's the hit. That's it right there. That's it. Piece of fucking paper. I don't know why Panini does that, man. I guess so you can't tell. There's a Joe Montana, Montana Lasting Legacies. There's a Troy Aikman Legends. So those are pretty cool. Uh, that's the Legends ones, actually, Very short awesome. print. That's cool as fuck. And then we have uh, Rookie C.D. Lamb and Kennedy McCoy. And those are short prints, too. So the Rookies look like extended short print sets. These are actual subsets. So we got a Jerry Rice record book. So nice. Joe Montana, Jerry Rice, first two packs. Let's see some of that ink. Oh, cards are pretty cool, man. They have kind of a classic look and feel to them. All right, we see some shaky shake there. Devin Hester, mini foliage. I don't like how they did that, man. You kind of see how warped it is coming straight out the pack, if you guys can see that on camera. Pretty cool, though. Tom Brady, record book, gold trim on the bottom. And then we got a Walter Jones Legends card. We got a... Jordan Love and Jalen Hurts rookie cards out of that one. So pretty cool with the little foily chrome on there. Not really a prism or numbered, but still neat that they put those in there. I don't like how they're warped coming right out the pack, though. So Baker Mayfield. Old Baker Mayfield, baby. All right. Russell Wilson off top. Got another one. That may be an autograph. I don't know yet. Michael Pittman Jr. red rookie foil. Pretty nice. Numbered out of 50. Nice. Number 46 to 50. So there's our first serial numbered hit. Nice red foil on the front of it. That light's getting in the way. That's pretty cool though, man. Michael Pittman Jr. rookie. Tom Brady for the ages card. Legends John Randall. Rookie Colin Johnson and CJ Henderson. There we go. There's another rookie foil. Non-numbered, just the base. Uh, Donovan Peoples Jones, University of Michigan. That's pretty cool, nonetheless, man. There's foils. Gives you some stuff to kind of chase in here. Seeing the red parallels, and I think there's prismatic parallels, old peacock feather parallels. So Adam Thielen, Miles Garrett. This is probably numbered out of 50. That's probably our rookie autograph right there. Yatua Gross Matos, the Pennsylvania State University signature. Signature rookie red, uh, so it is a red parallel of it, 21 of 50. So that's not bad. There's our first hit. Then we had a Jared Goff parallel, blue, 48 out of 50 in the same pack, serial numbered. It's pretty nice. Boomer Esiason Legends card. That's cool, man. We got a AJ Apensa and a Keyshawn Vaughn rookie card. Jay got something over there. We got another red rookie non-foil, um, Donovan Peoples-Jones. Pretty cool, man. We pulled his, uh, I think we pulled two of his. Yeah, so we pulled his foil rookie, regular, and then we pulled his red non-foil numbered out of 299 Chase. So that's pretty neat. Let's see what else we got in these bad boys. Uh-oh. 
This one feels a little heavier than the other ones. And these are standard set ones. This is a Timeless Talents Julio Jones. So I'm assuming that's a standard subset right there. Yep. Old Peyton Manning Legends card. There you go. There's our rookies. Uh-oh. Yeah, Jay got it. Jay got a Material Auto. Cam Akers. You gotta fucking let me show it to him. Way to ruin it. So we have a uh, Leighton Vander Esch miniature foil numbered out of 100, 100, 44 out of 100. And we got a fan favorites Drew Brees card. It's a nice insert. Here's our other one. So this is a Futures. Wow, that's a weird piece of material, man. That feels that's like what foam. What fuck it was. Doesn't it? Cam Akers FSU picture. Uh, futures rookie card. A bad boy's number 258 at 399. Not that good of a, a numbered hit. But that's weird, man. It's like a piece of rubber, it feels like. Maybe his pants, or maybe that was an actual piece of the. Uh, a piece of his knee pad, or a piece of his. Uh, it's pretty cool, man. Very thick card there. Uh, what else we got here? Let me pull that autograph to the side, too. So there's our two hits, but you never know. We might pull another one. See what the other parallels and minis Lasting we might pull. Roger nice, it's a pretty cool card, man. Lasting Legacies, Roger Staubach. They did kind of a tribute to the old uh, QBs. Oh, Dan Marino. Legends card. And his Dolphins. Yeah. Nice. So Josh Allen. Oh, we got another parallel here. Nick Chubb under the lights. Oh, Georgia boy. Ohio State Chase Young under the lights foil. Non-numbered. Pretty cool, though, man. I do not like... I mean, these are brand new. They just came off the presses. Panini, you need to do something about this, man. The warping that is in this box is pretty insane. Here's another Lasting Legends, John, John Riggins. I don't, I don't like the warp on that, man. I got a thumbs down on the foil cards, man. They did not do a good job of securing those, those minis especially. So, last pack on my end over here. Drew Brees out the top. Got another parallel. So that's a rookie KJ Ham Hamler. Number 85 out of 100. Pennsylvania State University. Oh, McKinney. Nice parallel. Xavier McKinney, University of Alabama foil. Nice silver foil on it. LaDainian Tomlinson. Another Donovan Peoples Jones. How many you got left, Jay? Just one? This is it, bud. That's it. That's the winner. So, not bad, man. I mean, a lot of... There's a couple different chases to these. Like, this is a really foiled-out chrome rookie. This one's just a basic chrome rookie. Um, neither one's numbered, so this... I mean, I guess it's pretty cool. Two different chases on that. And then we have a lot of numbered cards. There's a chrome. And then we had the regular rookie and the foil rookie. Um, pretty neat. The miniature cards are cool, man, but I do not like the warpage on that. I mean, that's pretty bad, dude, straight from the factory like that. DeAndre Swift, numbered out of 150. There's a DeAndre Swift, number 26 out of 150. Yellow border parallel. So it's pretty cool, man. They did a lot of different parallels in this set. I will give them credit. I mean, it's a lot to chase uh, if that's what you're, you know, looking for. So we got a green rookie numbered out of 100. We got another yellow rookie numbered out of 150, and then the red rookies numbered out of 299. So you can kind of see the tier on it. Here are the two autographs we got, both rookie cards, none of the legends, but one's got the material on it, which feels like a rubber. Cam Akers, and then Yatur Gross Matos. This one's out of 399, nothing major on the hit, but this one is out of 50, which is kind of a low number. Kind of glad we hit a low number on that. So all in all, man, not a bad break. Pretty cool cards, a lot of different foils and just different chase sets you can go after. Um, it'd be a nightmare to try and collect them all. Uh, thumbs up on what they did with the set, man. Panini Legacy, first time I've opened a box, but I was pretty impressed. So until next time, Pack Peeler's going to stay cracking packs and trying our best to count them stacks.